All right, welcome back to the, what do I call this? What I Learned Today. I was wanting to say stay learning. This is the What I Learned Today, where we stay learning about Python. And once again, I uh, I couldn't decide <laughs> what I wanted to talk about. I got, I got a, a lot of good things in the pipe uh, coming up, you know, so stay tuned for that. I'm doing some linear regression stuff. I'm working on the forecasting world. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm working on some linear regression stuff and some machine learning stuff. Um, doing some Monte Carlo simulations on some back test stuff. And we got we got cool things coming, but that's not ready. I haven't figured it out yet. So I'm just going to talk about something, just a little something that I kind of have figured out. Another thing I learned the other day is a little how to zoom in a little bit in OBS that I record this on so that y'all could see the screen a little bit better. And so, yeah, like instead of this being like my whole screen, now I can come in and, and zoom into the bottom. So we're going back to OBB, OpenBB Terminal. And I'm going to do a little uh, kind of a just a teaser for what I'm working on, but this is kind of where I found it. So... The, rep the reports function. So we're going to talk about reports. So I'm going to get my cursor over here. We're going to go reports, tab, enter. And we're going to talk about these reports functions. And so you can build and run your own custom. And that's kind of the, the bigger picture here. You want to build something cool, you can run this custom report. It's one of the dopest things about OpenBB that I'm loving. Um, but you can start with one of these templates. And so you can load up some crypto and give it your symbol and it'll give you all this cool um, stuff that they've got preloaded into the template and so for tonight I'm gonna do a little economy report and executing mildly slowly there we go coming along there was a um, by the way, there's a new update. We're in OpenBB Terminal 2.3 now. A couple, uh, couple of bug fixes. You know, you love to see it. So we are, where are we at? 54%. All right, a little fill time. Today was Fed Day. We uh, found out j Powell raised the rates quarter percent. Stocks loved it. You can see, there you go right there. You can see in my chart, that was j Powell right there to the moon growth stocks loved it nvidia amd even like uh draft kings type of stocks all the growthy names really loved it 89 percent. all right so then it runs it and error there is no current event loop in thread 2786 hmm well so we had an error but it basically still worked so you can go to the folder that it's going to output to and that's going to be like wherever you have uh, it's going to be an open you know in your C drive user data reports and then it's going to spit out a HTML file and a notebook file so I'm going to preload that notebook and I'm going to open this HTML file give you a little demo Bear with me. Here we are. All right, so here we got the HTML file, and it's got tabs. How dope is this? So we start with a summary tab, global markets, got your indices, commodities, you know, oil, um, some other stuff here, your sectors, percent change. I mean, just a nice little dashboard, right? Commodity index, you know. Sectors over here, um, you know, some news stories and their links. And that's just the summary tab. So you can go to events. Uh, it, this was like the calendar today. Um, there's the big dog right there. Uh, sorry. The uh, Fed interest rate decision, quarter percent, up to from 4.5 to 4, 4 and 3 quarters. Um, some other stuff here. You got yields page. It's pretty sweet. Two to tens, ten to thirties, nominal versus tips. Uh, you got your yield curve, and then you got your rates. 
So you got equity market, you got your sectors again. Um, lots of cool stuff here. You know the report, so we got all the indices back to 2000, pretty cool. Um, you know the report had that error, so some of these don't work. Uh, ARCA data, and one more macro data. You got the the Big Mac index, how much it cost for a Big Mac and price of dollars, kind of a little uh, currency comparison, and some other stuff. And so that is the HTML report. And so what I want to show you is the notebook. This is what I'm really, really jazzed up about is the notebook portion. So I'm going to scroll over here to this zoom in. It opens it up in my Visual Studio. So I'm going to grab my virtual environment and go ahead and run off. And this, as you can see, we're connecting my computer. It, it's got every, every little part of that report. Got your imports. You know, some entry data. And here it is. Just code box by code box of all that data we just saw in the report. So this is what I'm excited about. I'm going to take this, put in my own custom stuff, and then I can build my own reports the same. You know, the same stuff we just saw. Equity market, blah, 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 blah. And at the very bottom, this is the part that I, I could never write. Um, down here where it actually does, oh, it's still running, so it's, it's cascading its way down here. But the bottom segment, it's got the, yeah, so sorry, it's kind of blinky. The render the report to template to a file. Um, this part, man, I, I could never do this, but I can edit those and output this report. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to send out, I'm going to make my own due diligence reports for my uh, morning stuff. And so I'm going to use this as a template and, and you know, edit it up. So just to show you, like here it was. Um, you know, let's see. Here it is. Analyst OpenBB got their logo. But I could come over here. Um. Like right here, change the author, say Trader McStockster. And I could, is this thing still running? I'm going to run that. Save it. I see that thing was running across. I'm going to run everything below. Oh, I should have done that. It's probably going to take forever. There it goes. There goes the blue thing. So, should be able to, if that ran, go back to my file explorer, reopen this HTML. Oh, didn't work yet, so let's, let's wait on it to finish. You see my blue, blue thing going across. It's going to take it a minute. I wonder where it's at. I should just be a little bit patient. Has not run this one, I see. That's the last one. Once it gets through there, we'll have a new template, and I'll show you how I changed the author. And you can change all the stuff on there. So, we're just waiting. Did y'all have a good day today? It's a good day, man. I don't trade on FOMC days. Actually, I did do a trade. There was one trade I couldn't pass up. It was pretty sweet. But um, usually I don't. I just did a little bitty scalp. All right, here we are. Check, check, and check. Yeah, so let's go back to scene change over here. Open up the HTML again, and bam. Now, this report's done by Trader McStockster. So, that's it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be building some of those reports. I look forward to uh, putting my own research in it, kind of using that as a template. So, that's something you can do, too. And I uh, appreciate you tuning in. So I'm on low voice tonight, if you, if you can't tell. Baby's asleep. Got to keep it low. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Later.